Hi guys, it's Amanda, AKA Chef Panda. Tonight we are going to make spaghetti squash casserole. Um, I'm always making something different. I'm never gonna make something just regular, you know? It's always gotta have a little something cool to it, which tonight the cool thing to me is using the spaghetti squash. You know what I mean? Does, have you all used the spaghetti squash before? I've used it like one or two times before and it was pretty neat. So um, the deal with this, we got our spaghetti squash. We cut it in half, okay? Which it was kind of hard to do. If you got a man around or a good knife, make sure you do it because you don't want to lose fingers. You preheat your oven to 400. Then once you got it split in half, I went ahead and already did all this. Um, you take the seeds out just like you would a pumpkin. So it's really simple. And then you douse it with a little salt, a little pepper. You douse it with a little bit of olive oil. Just rub that in real good all over it. A little bit of salt, a little bit of more pepper. And you'll have these guys that look like this. Can you see that? Yeah, so those are your final products. Now, whenever your oven is preheated to 400, you're gonna put these in there. Now, whenever you do, you wanna make sure the cut side is down, just like that. Okay, let me get the oil off my hands. I can't stand if I'm oily. And if anybody wants a Chef Panda, okay, just t-shirt, comment below, and um, we can make that happen. Um, I've got shorts, sweatshirts, um, Chef Panda gear, okay? So don't worry. If you want some, I got your back. But yeah, so we're going to put this in the oven for 40 minutes. And then um, whenever it gets done, we're going to continue our recipe. Okay, I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, hi, I'm back. So um, I decided that I got like 14 minutes left on my squash. So I decided that I'm gonna start my other stuff. And um, you know, like it's the first time I've done this, so I do have my recipe cards right here, which at the end of the video will be a photo of um, the ingredients. I didn't put how much, but you can rewind or eyeball. Okay, so now it says like in the recipe, you know, this is where you brown your meat and stuff. And, you know, add your onions and your garlic and, you know, stuff like that. Well, since I'm eating meat, I am skipping the meat part. And I'm um, just going to start with some garlic and... Um, I decided to cut up a green pepper and I've got a few mushrooms. Okay. And this is supposed to be tomato paste, but I got tomato sauce, but it'll be okay. And I've got diced tomatoes. That's what it calls for. And then a cup of um, marinara and then some mozzarella cheese, which I can really put this in the refrigerator for a little bit longer. So we're going to start, we're going to go ahead and put my thing on, we're going to start it out, I'm just going to give it a tiny bit of olive oil, some olive oil, let that get hot for a minute. So, so how y'all been doing? How y'all been doing during the quarantine? Um, I think it's over in most places, it's definitely over down here in Panama City Beach. We have a lot of tourists here. Um, everybody's happy. The numbers are going up, but it just, I think, I don't know. I guess it's just life now, so it is what it is. I personally still haven't gone anywhere with large crowds, but you know what I mean? Teach his own. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> you know, I don't mean it like that because people are still dying, you know. That's the whole reason I felt um, conflicted about this the entire time because humans are dying, but... I don't know when I still can't go see my grandma in the nursing home so it really sucks but you know all I can do is cook my squash and you know I mean, be patient okay I'm gonna go ahead and put um calls for two cloves and, and you know if you like garlic like I like garlic which everything I got almost in this recipe is garlic the tomatoes is basil garlic and oregano the tomatoes are diced garlic but the recipe calls for italian seasoning so you know we'll use that 
put the garlic skull in. I'm gonna go ahead and put my green peppers in there. It's not hot yet, guys, it's not sizzling. <clears throat> Let me get my, my thing. I have a friend that um, got this for me. Jenna. Her name is Jenna. She probably never watched this, but her son might. <laughs> What's up, Aiden? Shout out. But yeah, my thing's taking a long time to warm up. I should have warmed this up first. But it's okay. I've got my cat down here, little baby. Y'all want to see little baby? Come here. So he's a little baby. Are y'all ready? <laughs> this is little baby. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Isn't he cute, guys? I found him um, under my front porch July 1st of last year, which it's oh, it'll be a first. It'll be a year here in like two weeks, something like that. And yeah, he was tiny when I got him. That's why his name's Little Baby. Even though he's a huge lug right now, he's still my little baby. Okay. Okay. Wash my hands. Hearing a little sizzle, guys. That light is bright. Sorry, I've like been staring at that light a little bit. I feel like it's there, It's looking like this right now. That's what it's looking like. So, but it smells good. The garlic's smelling good. Oh, and I forgot I got many mushrooms too. So. Mushrooms. Well, you know what? I don't want the mushrooms cooked like that and that like that, so I'm gonna wait to put them in, you know, before I bake this. Because let me tell you, the ingredients, the directions, in the saucepan, you know what I mean? We're cooking the garlic, the green peppers, etc. Then, fly here in a minute, we're gonna add the diced tomatoes, a tablespoon of the tomato sauce, tomato paste. And um, a cup of the Prego um, seasoning spaghetti sauce, whatever they want to call it. You know what I'm saying? And you simmer that for five minutes. Well, I'll simmer it till I'm ready to be not simmered. <clears throat> so, yeah. Tonight is a alcoholist YouTube video. I smoked a blunt between um, the stuff baking and me doing this. So, you know what I mean? I'm just, yeah, I'm just sober. So maybe I'm not as woohoo. But I hope y'all are still entertained and I'm not too boring. You got to meet little baby. <clears throat> that's, that's special. Okay. Y'all, that is special. I'm just like, skirt, 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 skirt. <clears throat> so I'm here in Panama City Beach. Where are all y'all from? Comment below, okay? Don't forget to share my videos. If you really like this and you make it, it is delicious and you think your friends would like it, share my video, okay? Please like it. And make sure that you're subscribed and you tell your friends to subscribe to me also. This is supposed to be tomato paste, a tablespoon. I don't know what the difference is. I'm guessing paste is a little thicker. Then the entire can of the diced tomatoes, entire 15 ounce can. So 
sure you have it in this photo. Okay. And then you get your, I got Prego three cheese. My cup, my measuring cup. I hope I don't splash on my Chef Panda shirt. I just had this one specially made for y'all tonight. No, I think I did. I think I did get a little sauce on it, but that's what I get when I'm wearing white and I'm cooking red with red. So splash it gently. Stroke together, y'all. This is going to be an interesting casserole without the meat in it, <laughs> but it'll be okay. I made that. That's a Westbrook. <clears throat> One thing, guys, I'm missing the NBA season, y'all. I'm missing um, watching Russell Westbrook run up and down the court. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sad about that, but I'm okay with it not coming back until next year. Just because that's going to be whack. The the winner uh, the winner will be whack. Like, it'll just be whack. But whatever they fucking want to do. Fucking want to do. I don't know why I just whatevered myself. Well, I don't see where... Put the Italian seasoning in, so we're just gonna put it in here in the earth and the garlic. Oh, somebody's back. We're gonna add the one teaspoon of Italian seasoning just like that. Let's go and stir them around. And I Boyfriend's back in the building. Ooh. I'm gonna crank that up to high. And see, then now I'm gonna add my mushrooms. Just my little mushrooms. I like these kind of mushrooms. I'm not a big mushroom eater. I'm weird about the mushrooms I eat. But I've always ate these guys in spaghetti. Is that weird? I'm definitely not eating like a god. I can't think of what those big dudes are called. Barracuda mushrooms or some crap like that. That ain't it, but something crazy. So guys, I'm going to finish this up. And um, I'm going to let this simmer, actually. And we're going to get the getty squashes up and ready. It's going to be ready in three minutes, but i got to let it chill for five. I will um, be back, and we'll go. Okay, y'all. we got our spaghetti squash. Okay. Look, I already got one spaghetti squash spaghetti. And I got them in here. Isn't that neat? So I just want to show you that. So now we're going to do this one. We're gonna start here and we're just gonna take our fork and just start shredding it to down to the wall, okay? Oh, it's still hot. Mm. All the way around. Just like, ooh. Just like that. Oh, getting hot. I'm gonna have to use this to Kind of hold it. Yeah. And then you just keep forking it, and pretty soon it's all like that, and, or all whatever, and ready to go into. Can y'all see that? The bowl. Okay. So, yeah. 
how you do that. Now, once you got all your spaghetti squash, it says to mix it together in my thing, but my thing's too small, so we're gonna do this here. That's where the spaghetti squash is gonna go. I see a seed or two. We're gonna try to get those out. A few more than I thought. Oops. You know, I mean, a seed never hurt nobody. You can always spit it out later if you come across one. Okay, y'all. Okay. Now, we're going to take our other stuff we have here. I'm going to hope this is enough. You know, we're going to pour it on there. I hope I used a big enough thing, but I think I did. Okay, we got all that out of there. Put that over there. Mm, toss that there. Toss that there. Here we go, folks. So now what we're gonna do is just mix it together. It's like a spaghetti squash spaghetti. And then the last step, and I still have my oven on 400 from when I preheated earlier. But the last step, y'all, once you get all that, where you feel like it's all good and mixed, and You get your mozz cheese. Now you probably should splurge and get the good shit, but I was at Publix and I wasn't spending extra money uh, on Publix. Oh, here's some scissors. So I was having a, a problem for a minute, but I fixed it, I think. Here we go. So yeah, now we got the mozz cheese open. Okay. We're just gonna do, we're gonna cover this with mozzarella cheese. That's all I know. Cause that's the one way I can guarantee it's gonna be good is if there's a lot of cheese, right? Who doesn't like cheese? If y'all don't like cheese, back out of this video now and never watch another one of my videos ever again. Okay. Okay, and now bake it for 20 minutes and I will be right, back y'all here she is okay all baked now we're gonna we're gonna check her out you know which you know I'm sure she'd probably be better with meat but you know this is just a chance I'm gonna take without it okay oh okay okay looks okay See how I got my salt, my um, vegetables, all that in there, just like that. So it actually looks pretty good. We'll just have to take a bite of it and see. I'll bring it a little bit closer for y'all. Can check it out and see kind of what it, a little liquidy, but yeah. So now, I'm gonna taste it. Goodness, I'm kinda scared. I wanna get some, but I don't wanna burn my mouth, y'all. Okay. All right. Here I go. Oh, that's too hot. <laughs> that's funny. That's too hot. Okay, guys. Well, you know what? I bet it's delicious. So, like I said, all the ingredients are at the end. If you have any questions, just comment below and I will answer them for you. And I hope that you guys have a magnificent, majestic motherfucking evening. Okay, I love y'all. Bye.